Flat white for table two, please. Back when I was in Argentina, I was working as a lawyer and then I realized that that wasn't the path that I was trying to walk, really. I should have followed my passion. Uh, so before coming here, I decided to take a professional course to be certified as a barista. That was the first spark. When I started working here because I wanted to know all the notes of the coffee and to know everything, it was more or less like five to six cups a day. And some days I, I, I realized, okay, I'm drinking quite a lot. I'm really excited and I'm talking really fast. So I tried to drop down the number. And now I'm trying to keep it on three coffees a day. I got a pretty good sense of taste and smell so I can catch really fast what is missing or what is lacking in a coffee cup. Knowing the difference between an under-structed coffee and as well an over-structed coffee, so it can give you the notes of the espresso that you're looking for. For example, if you're looking for more fruity notes or more acidic notes. The process of coffee before it's a cup of coffee and you can drink it is a really long process. You need to be really careful with the coffee, which means that if you want to have a really good coffee, you need to really collect the coffee by hand instead of using like a machine. After you choose your beans, you need to go to the process of fermentating them to split the bean itself from the little layers that it has. Talking about the coffee when you have it, place it on your grinder and then you need to extract it for the cup. First of all, you need a really capable barista. Could be like a person who had studied for that or a person who has all the knowledge just by working. How we work here is mostly opening in the morning, doing all the settling of the espresso machine that takes more or less 15 minutes and then grinding the coffee to have it in the exact size that we need When I got hired here, I remember my interview. It was really nice and it gave me quite the vibe of being talking with my mom. So that was like, okay, this is really nice. This feels like home. So it's not just, oh yeah, a cup of coffee. It's more. Coffee comes about an experience because the coffee is trying to talk to you, it's trying to tell you a story. It's like the story of a bean that was growing to be a tree and then that was developing different notes and then about the person who was collecting that from the tree to send it somewhere else to treat that bean and then to enhance the notes. You are going with them through all the process of the coffee and you are trying to like know the friend that you have in the cup. <laughs>